Our nonprofit name is Art Without Boundaries. And what we do is we typically connect the artist with a wall that seems fit. I knew Tyler growing up and I heard what happened and I decided to reach out to Jonas because he typically handles a lot of murals like this. People had already reached out to Jonas, like family and friends. So he kind of had an idea of what he wanted to do, just not where he wanted to do it. So that's kind of where I come into play. I went around Santa Monica and scouted a bunch of different walls to find out which one would be the best fit for this project. So after Tyler passed, I knew I wanted to do a mural of him. And being public art, I really wanted the site to make sense. And here we are right across the street from Santa Monica High, where he went to school and where I went to school. So there's a one-way street where every kid gets dropped off. So everyone has to pass the mural going through now. So it seemed like the, a really perfect spot and kind of to remember him. And, I didn't want it like somewhere too close to the field or too close where it would be like, you know, an air of sadness, but here everyone kind of celebrate his life, just passing by. The support has just been so overwhelming from everybody. It just shows how important he was in the community and how much he stood out. It's not every day that you get a mural painted of someone, but it's not every day that you get overwhelming support while you're painting a mural for someone. This mural took about three long days. Luckily, it's you know, daylight savings times helping us out these days, so I was able to put in really, really long days from sun up till sundown, and spent the first day working on his face, and that's pretty much the most important part. Spent the second day working on his jersey, and then the third day was the you know, background and other details and his name and whatnot, and everything went really smoothly. Like, you know, the lighting was perfect the whole time. But strangely enough, there's a light right above him that turns on right around six o'clock, so even at night, he's illuminated nicely, looking like little halos kind of played with Photoshop and looked through a bunch of different photos of Tyler and I know his wife Carly really thought his neck was like one of his best features so I want to make sure you could see his Adam's apple clearly and then I want something to kind of show that he was a lefty for people you know this mural is going to be here up for indefinitely so I want to make sure even down the road after people who don't aren't familiar with his career they see him flipping the baseball and can put it all together right away and I want one where you can really see his face so many you know baseball photos of guys throwing the ball or doing something where they're making sort of an expression in the, in the moment and this one he's looked kind of happy and peaceful. And then I really wanted to figure out how else to tie in his name. And you know, most baseball players' signatures are pretty rough and he was still a younger star, so he hadn't really fine-tuned his yet. So I figured the patch that they have on the jerseys and on the wall at Angel Stadium really was a good way to tie in. And even someone who didn't know anything about him might be able to Google you know, Skaggs 45 and read a little about him and keep his memory alive. It's really an honor to be a part of something like this, like kind of be a I don't know, like a vessel almost to keep Tyler's stuff alive. And it's great having people pass by and honk and wave and take photos in their car. Really touching and, and when I told my mom I was gonna do this, cause it's crazy, you know, his, my mom, his mom, we're all, they're all moms of baseball players Santa Monica High. And even though he made it much further, I mean, like my mom who doesn't really comment on many of my murals was so happy that I was doing this. And I can see all the other moms that pass by dropping their kids off, kind of having similar sentiments and it's pretty touching.